Hey sailors, welcome to the crew. I'm Sea Lord Janda, and this is my let's play of Rule the Waves 3 as the United States. In the last episode, we went to war with France a bit unexpectedly, thanks to the actions of some anarchists, and we're now attack preparing to attack a French convoy off of Sing Tao as the war gets underway in earnest in mainly East Asia. Additionally, I believe I've fixed the audio issues for future recording sessions on this setup, but it might still be a little loud and you might hear some background fans for this episode and the next one. Sorry about that. Oh, I didn't rearrange my deficiency yet. We should do that, but... Yes, 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 I know. Okay, so we have the battleship USS Alabama, the battle cruiser USS Oriskany, both amongst the most powerful in the world. We have the heavy cruiser USS Chester, and we have a pretty good assembly of destroyers, actually. Um, yeah, sure. Where are we? We are well south of Sing Tao. Uh, it says no base, although it shows an aircraft also. Apparently they have zero aircraft there, so I guess we don't worry about it too much. Um, unless they've snuck a carrier in, then they don't have any aircraft here. And we have a radar contact. And if they don't have carriers, then they literally have absolutely nothing in their fleet that can possibly match Alabama and Oriskany. Just absolutely nothing. They don't have any ship with guns bigger than a heavy cruiser. They do have missiles. This is true. But I still don't think they're likely to really be ship killers nor do they have them in the kind of number, like... Hit by a torpedo could do it, yes, but... What are we, is this a convoy battle? Yes, okay. Well, the convoy, we should just break through and slaughter, honestly. these sail across their bows. Oh, we have the light cruiser Aurora also of the Raleigh Block 2 type. That's a good hit. Range is still over 20,000 yards, and I think that's probably a destroyer, so here come the missiles. Okay. Oh, we have Reno also. They were just and Peoria. Wow, they must have all just been buried under each other or something. Okay, well. Yeah, that hurt. Bridge destroyed. Engine room hit. Torpedo map destroyed. Radar destroyed. Rough. Oh, that's a Sully class heavy cruiser. It still has no chance against our capital ships, but at least it's not a destroyer. Um, shall we launch back? Can we hit her? Yeah, we can hit her. That's a little ridiculous. Let's do it anyway. Okay, apparently only five of you were actually willing to fire, but... Yeah, that's probably gonna hurt. One missile. Yeah, one missile done. Oh, yeah, whole hit. As far as I know, 14 inch belt armor is still pretty effective against missiles. <laughs> Especially 1960 era missiles. I'm sure you can build one with armor penetration. I mean, I know you can, but I don't think most anti ship missiles are, really. Maybe in this universe where people have a lot more battleships floating around, they would be, though. That's an interesting thought. I mean, most of them, for ship-to-ship -ship warfare, are just designed to punch through the basically non-existent armor that all modern ships pretty much have. As far as I know, anyway. I don't think they mostly have a lot of armor-penetrating ability. But I would think in this world, maybe there'd be a lot more missiles with the ability to 
punch through 14 inches of belt armor. <laughs> okay, we are much too close to these destroyers now, but we're gonna do an emergency turn. And maybe we fire some missiles at him, eh? Let's see, not that. Fire at her, why don't you? Couple of you. Just, you know, screw that destroyer in particular, eh? This one too. Yeah. They got too close to my battle unit, uh, my uh, battleships that don't like it. And now they're very dead. Damn it. Still got hit by a torpedo. I mean, it's not gonna do much. We have a lot of torpedo protection, but, uh... Okay, three more destroyers over there. That one looks disabled, maybe? Oh no, he's just straggling. We're gonna get hit by our own torpedoes, aren't we? Okay, well we're landing a few torpedo hits now. Like, four per tick, apparently. Definitely about to torpedo our own battleships, but that's alright. It happens. Anybody in range to discourage those? Yes, quite a lot of you, actually. Alright, fire. There we go. Tell you what, selectively firing missiles does seem to work pretty well as a destroyer torpedo run deterrent. Although, we are definitely, it's a m absolutely miraculous that we haven't torpedoed any of our own ships in here. I don't know if we actually hit that Acte class. Somebody, Peary, why haven't you fired your missiles? Unload all your missiles at her. Pretty sure Peary just did not fire her missiles. Which is kind of not what I ordered, but, um, okay. Sure. Um, I haven't really dabbled in editing the files, but I've seen people who have. It's, uh, well, it's, it's certainly a fun little experiment. Yes, detach her. What's wrong with her? Oh, she is really burning up. That's a shame. Hopefully she doesn't die, but even if she does, we've killed at least a heavy cruiser, a light cruiser, and a whole bunch of destroyers, so... It's a pretty clear win. Can anybody hit this damn destroyer already? And this one, maybe? Yeah. Hopefully that uh, shut them down, finally. We'll do a little turn to hopefully shake off any torpedoes just in case. Yeah, you gotta be careful or they will torpedo you. It's It happens. Especially, I mean, in the early game they hardly fire torpedoes at all anyway, but in the late game, once they get really long-range torpedoes, they will just fire them randomly all over the place at the drop of the hat. Uh, 
Okay, what do we have left? Oopsies. Why don't you just, um, attempt to proceed to the nearest base without burning to a crisp, Aurora? She's probably gonna burn to a crisp, but we'll find out. Are there any... anything's left? Well, yeah, there's several destroyers, actually, still. That could be problematic. Oops. Where did that go? I know I'm literally only microing the uh, really heavy ships. I think it's fine. We've clearly won anyway. Just killed that destroyer with probably a 16 inch gun or something. Right, can anybody hit that last destroyer over there? Peoria has refused to fire her missiles like three or four times already, I'm pretty sure. But if somebody would fire, that'd be great. Hmm, apparently we missed. I, don't know, I won't stand for that. Let's run her down and sink her anyway. Whoa. Yeah. I think it's safe to say we got the convoy. I think that destroyer is the last living ship from it. And I don't think she's gonna make it. Sure. Pick up all the survivors you like, guys. Alright. Oh, good. USS Aurora survived. And we have completely wiped this convoy. So, Aurora did get hit by... What happened to Dyer? Oh, she was hit by a missile. Which... Missile launcher hit. Missile explodes. Fire started. Secondary guns destroyed. Yeah. On unarmored ships, or superstructure in general, missiles are kind of rough. But they managed to put the fire out and she lived. Well done. And USS Aurora, two missiles, was not really okay, but apparently lived. Just about. And in return, we sank the entire convoy with 14 transports. The destroyers, Epu, Bombarda... Lanskine, Cimeter, Valmy, Poignard, Dard, and Peak. Which, somehow several of these... How bad was this light... Oh, this is a really bad light cruiser, okay. But still. And we also sank the light cruiser Friant and the heavy cruiser Jules Mickey. Now, uh, let's see what we sank. A pew here was hit by... A single 16-inch shell I actually survived that, and 5-inch shells from secondaries and our destroyers finished her. A uh, Bambara hit by a whole bunch of shells. Uh, where did she start sinking? Ah, right there, after she took three 16-inch shells in one minute. Yeah. Can't really blame the designers on that one, poor destroyer. Uh, five inch gunfire off of our destroyers, like this one. Cimeter was hit by two heavy missiles from our destroyers. And she deserved it because then she launched a bunch of torpedoes at Alabama. Uh, but she was wrecked by those and a couple of other gun hits. Free Ant here is apparently less durable than your average destroyer at this point. Uh, but a few 5 inch, 16 inch, etc. hits. One crit which disabled electrical power. Yeah, she sank pretty easily. Valmy was hit by 104 medium rounds apparently, although she was sinking after the first, you know, 4 or 5 16 inch rounds. She did get all her SSMs off though. Now, the enemy pretty much fired all theirs instantly, to be fair. Poignard was hit by three torpedoes, and also a bunch of five-inch shells, which would actually sank her anyway. And some nine-inch shells off of Chester. Dard was hit by 251 
five, six, and nine inch shells, although it looks like that missile really did an upper on her. And she was sinking shortly after. Peak was hit by, maybe she was the last one. Six inch shells are mainly what did her in. Some nine inch. And Jules Michelet was hit by, I mean, it's going to be impossible to even tell what exactly sank her. Apparently one of the first 16-inch rounds of the battle disabled her machinery, which had to hurt, and then three missiles, which definitely didn't help, and yeah, I mean, it's the 16-inch gunfire and the missiles pretty much did her in. So that's, um, I think that's pretty much the end of the French Sing Tao squadron. Uh, shut up. Our budget was supposed to be fine. 117 aircraft on the new Shokaku. And Sam's to boot. Yeah, Japan's building some impressive stuff. Okay, we've invaded Kyoto Bay. We lost Fanning to a mine, but France lost Mangini to a mine. Our, and Austria-Hungary has chosen to enter the war on our side. I forgot we were allied still. Alright, well, good luck to them. Uh, our budget is terrible again. Although, technically, our balance is positive. I don't really know why I lost money that turn. Let's see here. Whew, okay. France has nine carriers in Southeast Asia. That could be a problem. It probably won't be, but it could be. Um... With that in mind, actually, I think what I'll do is I'll recall this squadron back up to Northeast Asia. We'll just concentrate our fleet, we'll finish off Kyoshu Bay, and then we'll move down into Southeast Asia. And if France sends all this up to Northeast Asia, we'll, our combined York towns will definitely destroy them. They don't have any carriers that are... None of their carriers carry more than... I guess these oldest ones carry 70 aircraft, but yeah. We should definitely win a, uh... We should definitely win a carrier engagement. Yeah, it kind of is the same energy as that. But look, the Austro-Hungarians have, um... More than a third of our total fleet tonnage, actually. It's mostly in heavy cruisers and destroyers, but they've got it. I don't think any of them can leave the Mediterranean due to short-range constraints, probably. But uh, Britain does have Mediterranean possessions, so maybe they can maybe they can take Malta. That'd be something. Of course, we're also still not at war with Britain, but they are allied with France. It's coming soon enough. I gotta stop forgetting that I'm not at war with them, though, because that makes a significant difference to the balance right now. They are, huh? Oh. Um. We can't stop that. Yes, yes, yes. We'll get down there and stop it in a minute. Okay, condenser trouble, etc. Obviously, we push for hard terms. Alright. Um, no, but I should really assign those. Some of these I don't care, but Wei Highway is actually close to Sing Tao, so... Oh, man. You lose USS Galveston to a mine in Northeast Asia. It was literally a brand new light cruiser. Well, that's expensive. Well, we'll just have to make do without. I'll build another Galveston. Galveston. Two. Good luck. <laughs> May you live longer than your namesake. Okay, so now I guess it's a rush for us to take Kyoshu Bay before they take Anam. Hopefully we can achieve that. Yeah, sometimes the mine luck is just not good. Uh, where is my... There we are. 
Way Highway. It's not a terribly large airfield, but uh, yeah. Let's grab yeah, something like this. It's close enough to the fighting. I mean, it's the closest base to the fighting. It's probably the only one that's actually in range of Sing Tao, so... Might as well put some aircraft in. That'll make up for France not bothering to put any in Sing Tao. The enemy have moved an estimated three CVLs up. I don't think that's going to cut it for you. Yeah, okay. On the other hand, I don't think our two CLs are going to cut it here either. Although, allegedly, we have... The water behind Sapers 4, if not to be lost to mines. That's how they sweep mines, right? <laughs> they found them. I mean, you can't complain that much. Okay, we have the light cruiser Amsterdam of the Cincinnati class. And literally nothing else of any value. Uh, the good news is we can run into Singapore very quickly if need be. Does Singapore have aircraft? It probably should, but I bet you it doesn't. Hey, Airbase Singapore, how you doing? Um, I mean, the tooltip comes up for enemy airbases, but I want to come up for mine. Oh! Oh! Hmm. Okay. Good news, it has aircraft. Bad news, they are prop planes, because I have neglected to um, ever update our land aircraft formations. We'll, we'll get on that at some point. Like, uh, immediately after this battle, hopefully, probably. Um. <laughs> Look, who remembers what's going on in the colonies anyway? <laughs> They'll be just... Okay, the... the, the Alright. Found some radar contacts. They'll be fine with prop aircraft. Okay, well, okay, don't love that. This is not a cruiser that has missiles either. Um, maybe we try to present a smaller profile for them? I don't think that actually works, but... In fairness, they did not hit us with any of those missiles, so we're still in this. Which is good, because those missiles would have hurt. It looks like a destroyer formation, but there's probably cruisers in there. To be fair, it's also, uh, well, dawn is soon, so maybe the aircraft could still come in handy. Alright, that one hurt. What did we lose? Torpedo tubes. Fire started. Yeah. We may just have to run. This ship is rather outdated. On the other hand, we just landed some gun hits. That's got to count for something. Daylight would probably be in our favor because... They're the ones with missiles. I need gun accuracy here. On the other hand, I think they're out of missiles. The problem is how bad is this fire? Real bad. We have no structure, really. Um, to Singapore we go. The convoy will be fine. Maybe they'll get distracted and chase us to Singapore without killing the convoy. Oh, daylight. Or dawn, at least. How's the fire? Not good. Not good at all. Hmm. Full daylight. Oh, did we put the fire out? No. Okay, we're still on fire. Fire spreads. That's not good. I'm going to keep running back to Singapore in less than until um, we put the fire out. 
Hey, no more fire. Alright, turning around and going back. We can only make 25 mouse, that's not great. Why? I guess we took a couple of engine room hits. The biggest thing firing at us had 6 inch guns, at least that actually hit, so we're not horribly overmatched. If any of those aircraft out of Singapore actually get going now that it's daylight, it's a shame I can't actually control them, but... I know they're obsolete, but, uh... There's a reasonable chance they could still get some hits. It's not like the French have any air cover, as far as I can tell. Also, they, they haven't killed the convoy. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, where'd they go? Why didn't they kill the convoy? Did I scare them that badly? Maybe this oiler with its two six-inch guns chased him off. I don't know where I just read oiler. It just looked like it or something. But 10,000 tons. Maybe we'll win. They don't seem to be coming to kill the convoy. If there were just a bunch of destroyers in there, we may have done more damage than we think. There was a recon aircraft. Did you spot anything? No. Where'd they go? Also, where is this convoy going? It just... Guys. This isn't a shipping lane. They went south? Why? Run them down. <laughs> Guys, I don't think that the shipping lane to Singapore goes directly along the beach. Wow. It was two cruisers, five destroyers, and apparently we outshot them despite the fact that they had missiles. Flambeers here took several six-inch hits and was noticeably damaged, and the small... Okay. Oh, uh, that'll be fair. This is actually just a super modern cruiser with a bunch of SSMs. But I'm not convinced that SSMs are yet good enough to make up for a lack of guns. And I feel like that was just proven here by the fact that this thing with eight SSMs but only four guns... Um, ...failed to sink Amsterdam and then got shot up badly enough that she apparently fell out of line sometime overnight. And is counted as heavily damaged, although it doesn't look that bad, but... If we got to put a couple of SSMs on Amsterdam, I think it would have been pretty much a fair fight. Okay, more war loans. Love war loans. Captain Bradford has voiced criticism over the conduct of our naval operations. He's below average, but aggressive. Well, one of those disloyal schemers, huh? Beach him. Excellent. Improved SSM launchers, quadruple launchers, trainable. Fantastic. We're not going to be able to bring them into this war, but after the war. And we've taken Kyachu Bay. So that's France out of Northeast Asia. Glad we could get that done before Britain got involved in the war. Now, the whole thing comes south to Southeast Asia. Hmm. Where, interestingly, why is the French fleet here? They have no possessions here. We're about to be at war with Britain, but... They're just invading Anam. But from what bases, even? Oh, yes, before I forget any further, let's go ahead and, uh... Where's Singapore? There's Singapore. Hey, air groups. How about we go for, um... 
Yeah, these are all rather outdated, huh? Okay. Let's have all you 40 sized ones take on the, um, this. Yeah, screw it. Hopefully we have enough industrial capacity that it won't take that long to replace these. And we'll add, um, I don't know. Probably just more attack jets, right? Like, is there anywhere else that actually needs here? Hong Kong. Okay, what is going to be in range of the fighting here? Uh, Than Hoa and Hong Kong could be relevant, along with Kamran Bay. Singapore, of course. So, Hong Kong, let's give you, um... It's a big airbase. Probably bigger than we need, but, uh... Bay, let's give you 40. Halifax, that's. I'm only increasing my own expenditures for no reason with a lot of these, really, but uh, there we go. I don't care to put aircraft on Taroa or Majuro. I have no. No use for these air bases, really. I don't even know why we have them. In fact, well, how much do they cost to maintain with nothing on them? Not that much. But we should still put them in reserve or something, I guess. Doesn't actually co uh, change the cost, huh? Probably because there's no aircraft in them. Okay. Why did France pick Anam? They have no bases here. I guess it's just because it's historically their possession, maybe. Could be. Neutral peace? Absolutely not. The enemy has an edge in electronic warfare, huh? The rebellion in the Spanish Falklands. And Austria's lost a destroyer. Well, they can do their best. And we are at war with Great Britain, as we all. Okay, I mean, I can't say I didn't see this coming, but uh, kind of eliminates our early advantage. On the other hand, we are in position here. The French fleet has mostly left to the Indian Ocean for no reason. So we're going to take the opportunity to pounce on Hong Kong immediately. Also, our budget's doing well now, so I'm going to lay down another Pueblo, or two. Which, that's now nine of them under construction, so we're definitely getting there. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Um, my bad. Get unbuilt. I forgot we had not unpaused most of them. In that case, our budget is still terrible, but uh, we'll deal with it. Cruiser action. Well, it'd be nice if we would get our battle cruiser in the cruiser action. Fingers crossed, but uh, we should be able to fight it even without. Despite their... Um, when I said we were invading Hong Kong earlier, I meant uh, Kwong Chu Wan, but uh, yeah. Okay. I don't see our battle cruiser, but I do see our carrier squadron, so that's not exactly a cruiser action, but oh, there's our battle cruiser. Thanks for watching, sailors. I hope you enjoyed. New parts will be up every other day, or you can watch live on Twitch. If you did enjoy, consider leaving a like or subscribing. Have a nice day, sailors. This is Sea Lord Janda, signing off.